Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have some exciting news. A new jailbreak utility Taurine has been released for iOS 14 to iOS 14.3. Basically, it supports all devices that can run those iOS versions. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk through the steps on how you install this jailbreak utility. And uh, the big difference here is you will install Celio instead of Cydia to be your default package manager. Uh, all of the download links that you need for this process is in this video's description. Now, before we move to the computer, there's just a couple of things we have to take care of on device. One, you're gonna go into the settings app, go down to general and go to iPhone storage. Now here you're looking for any OTA software updates that are downloaded, but not yet installed. So I'm currently on iOS 14.3. I go to general about, says it right there. Uh, if say I had iOS 14.4 downloaded, but not yet installed, that's what we're looking for. That's what we have to delete. It can mess up the jailbreak process. So we need to get alt store on our device to actually sideload this. So here's a tutorial on that. To get alt server on a Mac, you can head to the links down below and download it. Once downloaded, you unzip the file and then move the application to the apps folder and click on the app to open it. Now once open, it appears up here in the status bar, we're going to install the mail plugin. We can go ahead and open up the mail app to enable this. Make sure you have a mail account active in this app. From here, we can go to preferences, manage plugins, and activate the alt server plugin. And it's going to restart the mail app once it's done. Now you can minimize mail, but definitely leave this open in the background for it to work correctly. So now alt server is installed and ready to use. So a few extra steps on Windows. One, you first have to download iTunes and iCloud directly from Apple's site. Just select looking for other versions to download those. Also uninstall the Microsoft Store version of iTunes before doing this process. Uh, to make sure things go smoothly, first install iCloud and enable iCloud Drive and bookmarks, and then install iTunes. Again, the Apple version, not Windows. Now we can download Alt Store directly from the site. Again, open up the application and install it real fast. Uh, once it is installed, we can launch it. Just search for it in the bottom left. Now it's located in the system tray. To open it, you can expand and show hidden icons if you don't see it. But right there is Alt Server. Uh, so we're ready for the next step. So to install Alt Store with Alt Server, since it's up and running, uh, you can connect your iPhone to your computer and trust the connection on both devices. Uh, once it's trusted, we can head to Finder on a Mac or iTunes and navigate to our iPhone's little pane here. You're just gonna wanna click Show This iPhone When on Wi-Fi. And now you're free to un unplug the iPhone uh, and you can continue to install Alt Store over a Wi-Fi connection instead of having to plug it in every time. So from here, we can click on the Alt Server button, then click Install Alt Store on your iPhone's name, enter your Apple ID credentials, click OK if you get this pop-up if you've used Alt Store in the past, and in just a second, Alt Store will be installed on our phone. Now lastly, to open the app on the device, we're going to go into Settings, General, Device Management, and Trust our Apple ID. Okay, so now we can get into Alt Store on our phones. So now that we have Alt Store installed on our device, uh, make sure your computer's still running here in the background. We're gonna go to the official Jailbreak Utility site, scroll all the way down and click Install via Alt Store and click open. And just like that, one press of a button, it is installing in the background right now. All right, now it's been sideloaded. Again, you'll have to refresh apps every seven days, either with the computer method or installing a tweak. We'll talk about that at the end of this video. So you should see the Touring application automatically appear on your home screen. For whatever reason, I have this error where it doesn't show up. So if that happens to you, just restart your device. And just like that, there is the Taurine application. Uh, we can go ahead and open this up to jailbreak. If you guys are coming from the Uncover jailbreak, uh, just make sure to go to the settings app and uh, restore root FS before installing this new jailbreak utility if you guys are looking to switch. But to jailbreak, we're simply going to tap jailbreak. 
and it says reboot required. So just like uncover, we're gonna have to run this utility twice. So I'll let my phone restart. So phone is back online, just gonna enter my passcode. Go back into the jailbreak application and tap jailbreak once more. Looks like it finished. It didn't actually say it finished, but uh, there we have it. So Leo's on the home screen right there. Let's go ahead and pop it open. Look at that. It looks like we have a few updates. So that's gonna be one of the first things you wanna take care of. Just click up, uh, update all and uh, confirm the queue. We'll tap done once it's done. Look at that, everything's updated. The jailbreak worked on its very first try. So far it seems just as stable as the uncovered jailbreak and it says we're jailbroken. So, so far so good. The very last thing I wanted to show you in this video is that you can install alt daemon right there to uh, make sure your alt store and the touring jailbreak apps stay signed in the background. Uh, this basically runs alt server on your iOS device. So if I go ahead and close my uh, laptop, go back into alt store, I should be able to refresh all. And look at that guys, everything was signed on device. Uh, I didn't even have to respring. And again, it crashes, that is normal because it actually entirely reinstalls alt store every time it refreshes it. So. Look at that, you can keep your application signed on your iOS device. Really, once you have Alt Store set up, it's really easy to manage and maintain both the Uncover and the Touring Jailbreak. Anyhow, thank you so much for stopping by today, guys. I know it was a quick video. Uh, if you're looking for things to install, we have top tweak videos on our channel. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited to play around with this. I'll do a follow up in a few days and let you know how my experience is uh, going with this, but yeah. Two jailbreak utilities out for iOS 14 to iOS 14.3. Uh, so Leo, honestly, is always a lot of fun to play around with and uh, it seems super stable so far. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I'll catch you real soon, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.